Hey everyone, Spencer here from Geek of Spades, and today we're taking a look at another Warzone Resurrection unboxing with the Brotherhood's Judicator. This is pretty cool model. It's nice and big and hefty. Uh, and it's pretty interesting that it's only on one sprue, unlike the Vulcan Battle Suit that had technically three sprues because there was the one arm connection that was a separate piece, but this guy, his whole body, his head, all that, and legs, it's all one part, and then you have his two arms and his cape. Now he's pretty nicely detailed, uh, lots of piping and wiring up in there, looks really cool, he's got his Brotherhood logos all over him. The one thing I don't like is that his legs are a bit tiny, they just seem a little small compared to all of this heft and chunk up here. But he's still really cool. He's still just absolutely littered with detail. And you can see exactly how he goes together. Everything's sort of a, a peg and hole system, which is really nice. So here we have his one arm with his broadsword. Uh, the arms aren't the most exciting things. They're just robotic arms. Uh, and the sword's pretty cool. It's a little flexible, but not quite as thin as, say, the, uh, the Sacred Warriors. Uh, then you have his gun arm here. I like that his arm is a gun. There was a lot of people who were complaining about that, and I always thought it was kind of cool because it reminds me of Mega Man. Uh, but this has a lot of cool detail, all the barrels, and that's got the pipes and the wiring and stuff like that. Uh, and then he's got a big old cape. So yeah, that's the only sprue you get when you buy one of these guys. You also get a base and his cards and all that good stuff. So now that we've seen this guy on sprue, let's take a look at one of these guys when they're assembled. And here it is, the Brotherhood Judicator all built up. This is a pretty awesome looking model. He's big and burly. And I really like how he he has a real sense of being sort of dynamic to him. Uh, mostly because this arm can go in like three different ways. So you can have the sword pointing forward like I have it, or uh, I think the stock pictures have it pointing straight up, or you can even have it pointing backwards, like he's sort of winging it around. Although that does look a little weird with his elbow being so far forward. But overall, he goes together really easy. Everything's a super, super solid connection. Uh, mine had some mold lines that I've been cleaning up. Uh, be very careful when trying to clean up the sword, because it is thin. Uh, the only things I don't like about this model are, like I said before, the legs seem a little stumpy compared to all this, and I kind of wish the cape part was a little further up. It just seems really long where it's sitting. Like, if it was just sitting flat, it would be trailing along the floor. So I wish that was a little higher up, but it, it looks cool. It's just uh, kind of a preference. So in case you're wondering what he looks like, Next to the other big guy that I have, here he is with the Vulcan battle suit. He's a, a tiny bit shorter, only because the Vulcan stands uh, much more upright, but he's definitely, he's got more girth to him, and he's a lot bigger, so it kind of works out for the best. Uh, and here he is with a regular Brotherhood Trooper. In case you're wondering how big he is next to an infantry model. So there you go. That is the Brotherhood's Judicator. Uh, you get this guy in the Brotherhood starter box. Uh, and yeah, he's just, he's pretty cool. So uh, for more Warzone Resurrection unboxings, be sure to keep it here to Geek of Spades. And don't forget to follow the links below so you can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter.